you were there when <laughs> Elon beamed in on X X video over Starlink and, <laughs> and from his airplane, which was which was a, a fun moment. And we were talking about uh, the rate of growth and his his statement because um, you know Rick Kurzweil was there talking about his still his prediction of AGI by 2029 and and, and uh, Elon saying we'll have AGI whatever that means by next year and and the intelligence of the entire human race by 2029. So I, I am I am curious what just to close out what you think about that those timelines and that potential for a super intelligent uh, AI system that is centralized because that's the people who are building that level of power are building centralized systems. They're building centralized single systems that, again, take our collective intelligence, like all of YouTube in the case of OpenAI clearly and other things, and they package it up, sell it back to us, but they don't, give, they don't care. You know, these organizations are trying to build a system that will take away our freedom, liberty, and potentially kill us all. Let's be kind of fair about that. Let's and, be and, sell, and, and sell it to us at, uh, uh, on an incremental basis. The selling to us is a complete canard. They don't care about the revenue of this. Again, let's kind of call a spade a spade. They okay. are telling you that they're building something that could kill you and something that could remove all our freedom and liberty. And they're saying it's a good thing. You should back them because it's cool. It's not. It's actually shameful if you think about it. And we should not stand for it anymore. And again, this is another reason I want to step aside to see yeah, because you can't say things like that. I got canceled in Silicon Valley so many times. <laughs> but realistically, it's ridiculous and it should not be stood for. But they're going to do it anyway because they have the political power. People are scared of them. So there has to be an alternative and the alternative has to be distributed intelligence. When I resigned, I said you can't beat centralized intelligence with centralized intelligence. You're not going to beat it with a stability. So this is a great organization. It's going to do well. The only way that you can beat it to create the standard that represents humanity is decentralized intelligence. It's collective intelligence. And the data sets and norms from that will be ones that help children, that help su people suffering, that reflect our moral upstanding and the best of us and gathers the best of us to do it. Because if you work in healthcare, if you work in education, if you work in finance, if you work in any of these things, there's no organization for you to come and join or partner with on this. There's no kind of centralized mission. I have looked. I've wanted to help other people. I didn't want to do this myself. And I don't want it to be about me very, very quickly, which is why I'm kind of getting it out there now. I hope that I can catalyze something that then people will take forward. And time is now for that because AGI, when it comes, if it comes, again, there's various definitions of this. Why on earth do you need any knowledge workers? Anything that can be done via a laptop doesn't need humans. And so you have concepts of UBI here. You have concept like when the HI comes, you don't need money. Money is a common story, is a common yeah. good. We, we head towards can, a we head towards a post capitalist society. And yeah, I think uh, the, the example I think you said was uh, Star Trek versus Mad Max. You know, I, I'm like Star Trek versus Star Wars. I think is a better one. There. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, and so you know you got the Sith Lords and all of that. Um, but again, if you kind of look at this. I don't think we need money. Like it's cross contextual, like bartering with our AI systems representing us. Or it's you don't need money because you're told what to do. Again, our governments, the definition of a government is the entity with a monopoly on political violence. And an AGI can overtake any government that can then control the people. Because again, listen to it whispering, look at the kind of human thing. So we have this opportunity to set norms right now. The way that the big labs are going to AGI is likely to kill us all. Elon and I signed that six-month pause letter. Because even though people are like, Emad, you're an accelerationist, you put all this open source AI out, you have to think about the other side. And who's involved in that discussion? And again, if we build an AGI as a centralized thing, is Windows or Linux safer as infrastructure? Our entire internet infrastructure is built on open. Open can be challenged. Open can be augmented. A monolith is likely to be crazy. And the way that I put this is, you and I both know so many geniuses. You know, side effect of genius is insanity, honestly. We're not mentally, geniuses are not mentally stable. <laughs> Why would you expect an AGI to be so? And you're putting all your eggs in one basket versus creating a complex hierarchical system 
that is a hive mind that's an intelligence that represents us all. We should be working towards building that because it's safer, it's better, it achieves all the benefits that people are talking about. And it's possible today. All the leaders I've met are super happy, you know, because they, again, leaders want power, they want control and all of this, but genuinely, like, they want to see abundance. They're not happy with where their countries are and embracing this technology, they know that they can leap ahead. And, you know, they will still have a say in all of this. It's not like it's kicking them out or removing them. There are still various kind of mechanisms there. And ultimately, improving the health, education, and capability of your people is not a bad thing. I mean, like, obviously, I haven't talked to the completely oppressive leaders, you know? <laughs> Maybe that'll be an interesting thing. But honestly, I don't want to even be talking to leaders. I want to create, again, a system where the people of the country coming together with the franchise system can then build this technology for the good of their people in the open and not be reliant on anyone politically or any other type of thing like that. Because we don't need giant supercomputers for where we're going. We need coordination.